Welcome to the show. North Korea is having an interesting week. In- so, go. Trump flexed his muscles with these missiles. Right. And it made a splash. A splash. A drop in the ocean of flexing muscles. And there's one person that's not happy about this. Is it uh, my it's neighbor? many people. It's, it's me. Kim Jong-un. Oh. Because... Little Kimmy. Little Kimmy wants to think that he's the bee's knees. And he doesn't like it when other people show power. Ooh. Because he needs to show power. He thinks he's the duck's nuts. Duck's nuts, bee's knees. Is that? A, the cat's pajamas. Donkey's monkey. Everything. Wow. So, and another thing happened. Uh, a US, uh, what do you call them? A aircraft carrier? A boat. Yeah. A boat. A big boat. <laughs> a big boat with planes on top. Okay. Uh, was on its way to Australia. Nice. Oh, a US, a US we're, strike group. We are good. We're in Australia. Australia. So it's a naval group. So it was the aircraft carrier and a few naval ships around it as well. Like yeah. A little convoy. And it was coming to Australia to, I guess, hang out and so we can see what they look like and check it out. War games. And uh, not not do do much else. But uh, Trump diverted these ships oh. to the Korean Peninsula. What's that? What? Is that is the whole country a peninsula? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. So, <laughs> that's Korea. <laughs> that's Korea. I thought it was just like so, land on top and bottom. I didn't realize there was a peninsula. Peninsula. The whole thing is a peninsula in North mm. and South Korea. Shit sure is. The Korean peninsula. So, yes. so you got, do you have good beaches? It's a bit no. Cold. It's pretty far up. It's dirty. Because yeah. if it's surrounded by water, there's got to be like one good beach. Right? It's nah. It snows there. It's a cold place. Yeah, it's cold. I it's think like, the weather is too harsh. And like, the sand is really coarse. Antarctica. Gets everywhere. Antarctica. Oh, they come up in every episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like so Kim Kim Jong Un. So Kim Jong Un's not happy. Um, they're yes. throwing missiles everywhere. He, he came out saying that the the American strike justified the North Koreans going after nuclear weapons. That's right. Yeah. Defense. Can anyone explain the logic behind that? Well, they they're saying that America can attack them and they're unstable, so we should have the means to defend mm. ourselves. Because um, because America wasn't authorized to attack Syria. I guess they're trying to just demonize America and their actions. They're mm-hmm. saying, look at what they're doing without anybody else's approval. What if they turn on us? We better have a line of defense. A deterrent. That's an interesting argument. Which just sort of makes sense if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, but any country could say that, right? Well, absolutely. Not every country has earned the ire of America, like North Korea. Yeah, and I guess North Korea is in the position of everybody knows they hate us and look at the actions they're taking we better arm ourselves up yeah. but they're mm. already doing that anyway oh yeah, yeah exactly I was gonna say, haven't they been one. doing that for 40 years he's yeah. just trying to get it's a little, propaganda get a little sympathy yeah. so there's a bit of conflict between uh, Kimmy and Trump uh, they're not happy with each other Trump came out and said that uh, if need be America will act solely to neutralise North Korea he did say that far out so he basically said, if nobody else is with me, I will kill everybody in North Korea by myself. Is that how he actually said it? He's, Almost. He said they're, they're willing to take action unilaterally. Mm. Was that in a tweet? No, <laughs> that was actually the I think that was UN a statement. ambassador. Nikki was it? Haley, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's hard to know with Trump stuff because some of the stuff that comes out of there is so stupid. Did you see the thing by Sean Spicer? Outrageous. That was him trying to say that Hitler didn't gas people or use chemical weapons? Yes. Yeah. It's like far out, guys. Yeah, that like, wasn't what he was trying to say, though. Yeah. He was trying to say, "Look how bad Assad is. Even Hitler didn't do this kind of thing." Uh, and then everyone was okay. like, "You idiot!" He yes, he did. did <laughs> much worse. Um, yeah. So there's conflict, and Trump's had a meeting with the Chinese president mm. to talk about North Korea. That's nice because yep. China is pretty much North Korea's only ally, sort yep. of. Um, and obviously, China wants to keep things settled so that. Um, to them, it's a constant source of money, I guess. Didn't China yeah. like cancel some shipments to North Korea this week? Yeah, I thought they were they were tightening away from Korea. Is that a thing, or am I completely making that up? I think I saw, it, I read in some news source that China <laughs> diverted some shipments from North Korea. They're like, oh no, you can't have that. China's <laughs> never happy when when North Korea does stuff like missile tests or nuclear tests. That's right, because it makes them look bad. It changes but- status quo. The closer they get to having a ballistic missile, True. the closer America gets to having to take some kind of decisive action. True. Which means... It's like... They don't want the status quo to it's change. Like if, if China you... could keep the world exactly as it is right now on the mm. current trajectory, they'll be very happy. 
imagine you own a store <laughs> and here comes a great analogy and there's a young man and the only place he can buy things is at your store so he comes to your store every day your neighbor has beef with a young man but the thing is if your neighbor kills him he ain't buying anything from you anymore Never. that's not why they protect North Korea of course it is they don't need anything from them yeah they do they they have a billion people North Korea is dirt poor it's money they give North Korea stuff they actually support them so what's the point why because North Korea doesn't want that country to change they don't want it to be a democratic country right on their doorstep it basically reduces their buffer it's the same reason that Russia doesn't want to have American troops in Syria they don't want like Syria to turn into a western friendly country because it's actually Mm. really close to Russia through the Caucasus Caucasus? Caucasians? What? I don't know how to say that. Caucasians? <laughs> white pe- <laughs> white people? Caucasus? Or Caucasian? Caucasian? That's, that's a region. Uh, that's like, where white people come yeah. from. Like if you go from Turkey like up, you get to Russia. A Caucasus race? Caucasia. <laughs> Sorry. Where were we going with that? Haven't you read Else in Wonderland? I don't know. Oh, so You're literally know. laughing right they, now at um... your lack of own knowledge. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. So you, I thought Caucasian just meant white. That's a region. Yeah, but where does Caucasians come from? Caucasia. That is that I'm pretty sure that's not a country, but the I'm Caucasus, not, I think it's a region. Like region it's is, a region. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's where you guys all come from. But do we me, actually? I don't. Do we actually? So um yeah, base kind of. Yeah. Like way back? Yeah, way back. Uh, okay. way, way, way back. Is England nope. in the Caucasus <laughs> no. region? Caucasus. Yeah. No, they're, they're Don't worry were, about it. You're no, gonna hurt yourself. No. They were Vikings that went way over. back. Right, right. So, do you think this is a good thing? North no. Korea, North Koreans, North Korea, and America having beef? No, it's gonna be interesting to see what America does. It's very interesting. They're do not gonna let North Korea get ballistic missiles That's right. with the capability of launching nukes. And of it's course, not gonna happen. Trump's put his naval fleet there as another act of. Flexing his He's muscles. kind of flopped it out there. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Right okay. on the peninsula. I well, just said, here's my... Here's my naval strike force. Naval strike force. Do you want to see what they can do? Yeah, exactly. Um, do you want me to unload all over you? No. <laughs> okay, so you say they will not let that happen. Yes. How do they Because they're on the trajectory that it's going to happen. What's they can gonna... just bomb everything. Bomb them. Right. I guess, yeah. They probably have a good idea of where all the facilities are that they would have to take out. Because okay. they'd be able to detect that, right? Yeah, there's satellites flying over all the They'll time. They'll have spies. Analyzing. Then. There's people whose jobs, their entire lives will be to analyze satellite data yeah. and right. figure out what's where. Yeah. And all I know is movie knowledge from science. So I'm pretty sure they can detect isotopes when they're making nuclear weapons. Did I just make that up or is that movie nine? When like, they when they test nuclear weapons, you can detect them. Yeah. See? What but was they movie, wouldn't give you a very specific location. But what was the movie explosion. with uh, Will right. Smith where he's got the bag and they use a satellite to track the bag? Enemy of the State. Enemy of the State. Great movie. Is that a Tom Clancy one? Because those ones are usually like sort of like... It's oh yeah, that's Tom probably, that's probably sure. possible. Do you think... Uh, look, as much as p- people's lives matter, whether they're <laughs> North Korean or American... and No, like genuinely, like I don't yeah. want innocent people dying. Yes. Are you yeah. sure? Yes. Okay. But... Is it best case scenario for Trump to just obliterate North Korea and stop this thing from going on? That is definitely yeah. not the best case scenario. Best case not scenario. Not best case scenario, but I guess a good case scenario. Best case scenario is, I think, if um, North Korea doesn't... Like, best case scenario is they stop trying to develop nuclear weapons and, and they missiles. become a democratic country. Or Kim country. Jong-un gets assassinated. That, that wouldn't change anything. No, there'll be Whatever another guy ready to yeah. go. Yeah. Right. Um... So Their whole power structure requires those kinds of things. Best, um, best case scenario is they're like, okay, fine, we won't do the nukes thing, but they'll just continue to do their own thing. Um, if they didn't do the nukes thing, they would actually remove a lot of the sanctions on mm. North Korea and they would actually... Thrive. Yeah, probably. Like, they'd not thrive, but their people are so poor and, like, starving. They would do a lot better. Mm. Um, I guess the best case, next case scenario is that China actually stops supporting them. Because without China's support then they would actually have to stop because they don't have anything. Everybody will just starve to death. Yeah, China doesn't want North Korea to collapse or anything like that. That's why they continue to support them. But I think they also don't want America attacking them. So I think they would try and stop that before it happened. Because President Xi from China Mm. was like, all he wants and all he seems to keep telling Trump is 
to come to a peaceful resolution, not to bomb the. Yeah, not they to bomb keep everyone. saying that, but it's like well, you, that's on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's on yeah. China because mm. there's nothing else. There's no other pressure that anyone else can apply to the North Koreans. They've already got every level of sanction that you can think of. Mm. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Go Trump. What? You know what? I think he. Well, I mean, is... you wish the best for him, like, and yeah, wisdom. and look, as much as right. <laughs> he is who oh. he is, I think maybe someone of his character and oh, I want to choose my words carefully, but <laughs> the way that he does things first. might be good for. What, I just wish what it we're was facing. someone. I wish it was someone more emotionally mature. I th- no, I like that he's I a think, bit of a hothead. I think the people. No, I think the people around him are smart enough to like. Yeah, him in definitely. Check. That's but, what I think. Whenever says Trump's blowing people, I'm like, okay, well he has general and chiefs of I staff. I think he's blowing people. But oh, <laughs> blowing people up. Oh, <laughs> um, not blowing people. Not blowing. Well, <laughs> I mean, he could be. Who knows? He, no, he, he does, does showers. Not that he likes he, a good shower. Knows. Clinton did it. So okay, he, I don't think he blew anybody. <laughs> no, he got blown. <laughs> okay, he got blown. I guess like he's got enough people around him to say you should make this decision or you should do that. Right. Yeah. Um, and I guess in that position, having a president that will say, okay, let's do it, rather than, hmm, let me think about it for another six months, could be a good thing. Yeah, but if that thing that you're doing makes everything worse, it's not a good thing. Yeah, but we can't say that it makes everything worse. Like, we don't know the it alternate outcome. Okay, but that's a terrible argument for judging. No, but what I'm saying is, if he action. has if he has enough people around, that's like him, saying you can't make any judgment on any action because you don't know what the other actions would have had. Yeah, so what happened. I'm saying is, making a decision is better than being shy about it. No, but a decision to not do anything is still a decision. Yeah, I guess so. You know who made a decision <laughs> that had terrible repercussions? Repercussions. Repercussions. Shut up. Some people on a plane. You George Bush Airlines. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, when you mention Topic for <laughs>